Hi there. Been a while since our last video together. And, you know, a lot of that had to do with life. I've been going through a lot lately, and, you know, making videos isn't always a huge priority when life goes bad. That being said, I did find out that my daughters, hello girls, are watching these videos. And they have been wanting to know when my next one's coming out. So I've been working on recording this video to one, paint a model or two, and then I also wanted to show all the models that I've been working on off camera whilst keeping everything going in life. This video is going to be about painting a Death Guard. Now this particular model is big, detailed, but at the end of the day, his basic color scheme is really simple. It is a dirty white and a dull dark green. Simple as that. Everything else is just dirty, cursed, or tentacles. And then the occasional booger demon that, in this case, the guy's squishing. So before I get this guy on his base, I have to fix up the base a little bit because it's kind of rounded. It doesn't really fit very well in the miniature. And I think that it's a little bubbly. I want it to be a bit more hard edged. So I take out my Dremel tool. I go through and I grind it down to the kind of shape that I'm looking for. I take some tile grout and some paint and I make a paste. And I add that all over the base just to kind of give it a bit of texture. Filling in the gaps. Just making it look better. Then I glue that, uh, that death guard right on that base. I go through and I prime it white. Now normally I prime things black, but in this case, if it's going to be a white model, why fight that? After that, I go in and I start laying down my base colors. Now, my base colors are a white gray, a let's see, exhaust manifold, and some kind of brass that's gone bad. Um, but it, it it looks nice. It's either that or copper. I can't remember. Anyway, the paint's really foamy, but it still worked. Whatever. Uh, I laid down the purple bases for the cloak, a little bit on the uh, tentacles, the yellow spikes coming out of this guy, and then I went through and I used a new product that I haven't really used before called Streaking Grime, and if you've never used it before, it's a lot like an oil, but it's a specific color that just looks gross, like the inside of a really wet sewer moldy, nasty, don't lick it. Um, it smells a little stronger than oils in my opinion, but the principle is basically the same. You slop it on, you let it dry, and then with a little bit of uh, white spirit and some Q-tips, you go in and you start removing it. This is talent in a bottle, and I really like it because it's very forgiving. You can just add, remove, add, remove, the streaking grime paint and it just it's a lot easier to work with than a regular acrylic wash so at that point i let it dry completely overnight and then i start going in and cleaning up areas that the color has become too grimy so areas like the white on the armor uh, improving a bit of the brass bringing back some of the shine uh, the tentacle color, uh, some uh, fixing and enhancing the colors on the very tips or the raised areas of the capes. Just pretty simple stuff. Um, from that point, I start looking at details like the axe. Now, the axe is very gross, it's very grimy. But to contrast with that, I want to bring back some of that metal shine. For that, I'm using a product called Rub and Buff and some makeup sponges. And you take that makeup sponge and you get a little Rub and Buff on there. You wipe most of it off on a paper towel. And you essentially sponge dry brush it on. And you need like one or two wipes and you're done. It is so fast, so effective, and does such a good job of putting down a smooth coat with very nice transitions between high metal areas and just brushing on lightly just to give it a little bit of a metallic effect. I love it. it. I absolutely love that material. Working with it is a dream. 
From there, we start looking at airbrushing on some of the color for the smoke. I ultimately settled on a green yellow, very kind of sickly and disgusting. Um, I just used some fluorescent, I think it was fluorescent yellow and some yellow ink. And it gave me a nice, just dull, almost mustard yellow. And then towards the base, I airbrushed on some red, like GW wash, Caribou Crimson, I think it's called. And then I just oversprayed that on some of the model, not just the flames, but the areas around it, just to kind of give it that splashing effect. I also sprayed some on the back of the cloak. I felt that that helped. Um, and it really dulled everything down. And it made, I don't know, it made the model easier to read, in my opinion. A little less detailed, but I think it looks better. When I was approaching the base, I realized that it actually looked pretty good the way it was. So I just went in and added a little color variation with some red paint. Um, and just left it, because I think it, it looked grimy and gross and like stone. So pretty good. And here it is, along with all the other stuff that I painted. This includes Death Watch, Grey Knight, Sisters of Battle, uh, Tempestus Scions, Ogren, some orcs uh, that are not even done in my opinion. The orc from last time. Tons of stuff. Um, including some terrain. Things that I've finished up on the side. It's a lot, and it is fun and satisfying to every now and again get out everything that you've done and create a little diorama out of it and just, I don't know, make it look cool. So, that's everything. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I, I enjoyed making it. It was a little tough because I'm, I'm out of practice, but I'll try and get these out faster than I have been. Um, it takes a little time, but thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button if you like it. Otherwise, leave a comment. And if you happen to be my two little daughters who are watching this, I love you very much. We'll see you next time.